Mr. Speaker, at least 3,500 civilians have been slaughtered in Syria. Today, the Arab League voted to suspend Syria. If the opposition and you were Commander-in-Chief requested military assistance, covert or smuggling or a no-fly zone, would you authorize either or both? Well, first of all, I think that it's a good thing today that the Arab League suspended Syria. I think this administration should have been much more aggressive against Assad. I mean, it's ironic to me that Mubarak, who had been our ally for years, who had done everything he could to help the United States, who had helped us in the Iraq campaigns, who had done literally everything we had requested of him, he was dumped overnight by this administration in a way that signaled everybody in the world, don't rely on the United States because they'll abandon you in a heartbeat if they feel like it. Assad, who is our enemy and is an ally in, of, of, of Iran, has had amazingly soft treatment by our State Department as though they are afraid to make him feel bad. Uh, I would actively approve uh, taking those steps which would defeat his regime, which would probably be mostly covert. I don't, I don't think you need a no-fly zone. I think there are a number of steps you could take, and I think he would fall very rapidly. If the, if the United States and Europe communicated clearly that Assad was going to go, I think you would find he represents a very tiny faction, and I think you would find him likely to be replaced very rapidly. Congressman Paul, covert operations in Syria? A I green think, light for you? I think it would be a mistake. I think the Syrians ought to deal with their country. I think we should have But what about the, the 3,500 dead? Well, th there's been a lot of people killed throughout the world in the last century. You know, the Soviets and the Chinese killed hundreds of millions, but we didn't feel compelled morally to try to stop it. No, it's a tragedy. And it would be nice if they would accept different views. But for us to get in the middle of that and prop up the different dictatorships, this is why we get into this trouble. It's overthrowing dictatorships that we have supported that causes so much of this problem. So to get further involved, you want to have self-determination. We don't need to lose any more troops. You get in there with covert operations, then you have troops involved. Thank you, Congressman. And it's very costly. It's Thank you, not Congressman. a good idea. Governor Governor Romney, <laughs> Governor Romney, if I may ask you a 30-second follow-up to that, is it time for the Assad dictatorship to end? Would you use milita military force to do that? Of course it's time for the Assad dictatorship to end, and we should use covert activity, as Speaker Gingrich has just indicated. Look, the, the reason I disagree with Ron Paul on this is that you have in Syria a nation which is an ally, the only Arab ally of Iran. It is arming Hezbollah. It represents a, an access uh, of great significance to Iran. And as a result, because of our concern about Iran and their effort to become the hegemon in the Middle East, it is important for, for us as a nation to stand up and to help those efforts to, to replace Assad. And that means helping Turkey and, and uh, Saudi Arabia, who are putting pressure on him, as well as covert activity of our own. Governor, thank you very much.